Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to review for you the newest Long Comb Taint It All Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. So I have the shade 51 and I'm going to talk about the shade in just a minute. I'm also going to be comparing it to the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. So both of these are luxury brands and we're going to do a bit of a battle to see which one is better. I picked up shade 51 because I relied on the brand swatches. I'm kind of mad that I spent this much money on this concealer and the brand pictures were really misleading. So what I want to tell you straight off the bat is if you're thinking of buying Lancome, please spend some time doing some research. Don't just rely on the Sephora or brand swatches. Make sure you Google some other swatches, YouTube, Instagram, just do a hunt for these shades. So that aside, let's get into the review and comparison. So I've done a full day wear test with both of these concealers side by side. Let's jump into the application and the test now and then we'll come back and I'll share with you my final thoughts. Hey guys, so this is what my under eyes look like. I do have foundation on. I've just gone in with my normal Dior Skin Glow Foundation. This is in the shade 3 Warm Olive. And now I'm going to color correct under my eyes using Bobbi Brown Corrector, the shade Peach. So I've got the corrector under my eyes. And now I'm going to go in with the Long Comb Concealer, shade 51. Just going to pop. So I'm going to start off with this small amount. It's really fluid, it spreads very easily and it is creamy as well. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more. And on the other side, I'm going to go with the Dior Forever Concealer. And this is the shade 3 Warm Olive. As you can see, the shade from the Dior is very different to the Lancome. Now, the Dior doesn't feel as fluid, as liquidy as Lancome. Dior definitely feels like more of a creamy, thicker concealer. So this is what the two concealers look like under my eyes. I have here the Dior. And then the Lancome. Now this is before adding powder. Now I'm going to just go ahead and use my Pat McGrath Loose Powder in the shade Light Medium 2. And I'm just going to add a dusting of this under both eyes. So here's the two with the powder. Hey guys, so it's been eight hours and my allergies have flared up today. So I've had constantly runny eyes, runny nose, sneezing all the time. So this is actually a pretty good wear test to see how both of these concealers actually stacked up on a day like today. So I'm going to come in a bit close and I'll dim my lights and show you what that looks like as well. This side is Lancome and this size is the Dior concealer. Now let's take a look in low light. So when I'm looking at and actually comparing the two sides, what I can definitely see is that Dior actually looks a lot smoother than the Lancome, especially this sort of area right here. This is where, because I've been sneezing a lot today, you know, I've been doing this type of motions. I can see that this area right here is a lot more smoother for Dior than for Lancome. Lancome actually looks like a little bit cakey. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it's just a slightly 
cakey and it doesn't really look as smooth as Dior. Now in terms of creasing, both have creased on me a little bit. I would say perhaps the Dior has creased just on the edges here a little bit more than the Lancome. I just thought I'd show you the same concealers but with a different corrector. So I'm using the MAC Peach Luster which is a more of a peachy orange undertone. So I'm going to go in with the Lancome first. And this time I also want to show you a heavier swatch. I'm going to go ahead and apply a decent amount of the Lancome. Taking my Beauty Blender. Now I do think that this shade will probably be a, a really good shade for me for summer. It's just for the under skin right now, it is a little bit too dark. Now what you can't actually tell is that in real life, this shade is giving me this dark cast right here. I don't know if you can actually see that. Whereas on camera, because of the lights, this shade looks pretty okay. The Dior one on the other side. The Dior one most definitely has more coverage. I think one of the reasons why Lancome is really popular at the moment is because of how it feels. So when you first apply it, it feels amazing because it's lightweight, it blends like a dream, and it feels hydrating. And I'm going to emphasize the word feel because I think that is quite important with this concealer. When I use it, it feels amazing. Like there's no doubt about it. It's just super light application is just stunning with this concealer however i don't like how it wears throughout the day if i'm wearing it just for half a day great no issues but if i'm actually wearing this for a full day i don't like that it looks a little bit dry under the eyes and it can look a little bit cakey as well it's definitely not as smooth as Dior. It's just one of those concealers that I can see why people would love it so much just because how it feels but it doesn't quite perform like a luxury concealer should because if you're spending this kind of money you really want the concealer to look really great by the end of the day. You don't want it to just look good in the beginning right? Whereas I don't have that problem with Dior. With Dior it looks amazing at first application and it also looks really great by the end of the day there is no texture or cakiness or anything like that of course it doesn't feel as amazing at first application like the long comb however it's quite creamy it's got some decent coverage so overall for sure dior wins the only thing with these two that the dior doesn't do as well perhaps as the long comb is really the creasing i find that lancome doesn't really crease on me by the end of the day whereas the dior does and i think that's just because the dior is a little bit of a thicker formula more of a creamy formula whereas the long comb is quite fluid and quite lightweight so this doesn't really make my under eyes crease whereas this one does a little bit by the end of the day i don't mind that because this still looks better under the eyes by the end of the day than long comb because this just looks kind of dry and a little bit cakey. I am thinking of doing a comparison video of the new ABH with perhaps Pat McGrath because this is a very full coverage concealer, quite similar to Pat McGrath. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, hit that like button if you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. See ya.